guys, welcome to my channel. This is going to be the first video that's not like a overview of websites or a t intro. So this is going to be a tutorial on how to patch a front apron. I do have a full repair kit in here if I find it necessary to do that, but it's mainly this and the little hole on the bottom. So I should be able to rather take off, take this, this was nice, it's not really that bad. That piece of steel, I have another piece if I need to use it do that and I should be able to patch it. I'm going to start grinding paint away and you can watch. So I'm looking and I'm seeing it's something. I don't know what it is. I think it's rust and a mix of old body forms. But it shouldn't be that bad. I'll keep grinding. guys, I'm back. Um, something happened with the, the uh, my camera, so it randomly cut out, but I fixed it, so I will get back to grinding. I'm finding a lot of dents underneath. I think it's because I was using a jack to lift it sometimes. I don't know. Um, so I might have to get under the car. I will do that right now, actually. So the rust is worse than I was anticipating. So still not that bad though. I can still do a little work. I'm just gonna have to take everything out of here. This point. I'm gonna cut this out right now. So I got everything out of the spare tire area. I'm going to start hitting it with a hammer trying to get a few dents out. I might just actually cut the bottom lip from that one and I don't know yet. I can't tell if it's I can't tell if it's dented up or down. can't lose this. This is a piece of rubber for the jack from the original one. I want to keep it. This is just a bunch of me hammering stuff, so I'm going to cut the film right now. All right, so I did a little more hammering. I took a little bit of a pattern on um, some sticky tape for uh, the hole in the front right around here. I'm going to cut a square, wear out of it and make it a little easier than this funky looking shape. It looks like a fish with no tail. So I'm going to use a new tool, aka Dremel, and grab all my wrenches.
And I've kind of got it all cut, so I'm just gonna do another little thing to get a perfect square, and then I'll put another piece of paper up, take a pattern, trace it to the metal, and weld in a patch. And that just saves me from putting up that whole replacement piece. If I have to in the end, it's fine. Also, I'm gonna do a or I get a full one on how to replace it. I don't know whether it's cutting through, but it's cutting through something that is bad for it. Because I'm on to my third disc in however long it's been, two or three minutes. And I'm not putting any pressure on the demo, it's just doing that by itself. they do it on purpose, make them weaker. Gotta buy more. And then having to take the screw off every time. It's annoying. The cut off this go. That's just crazy. My camera fell. It sucks having an iPhone for a camera instead of a normal action camera with like a tripod and stuff. But eventually. I do have a super eight film. Try cutting it from the bottom. It's 
not going to work with those shears. I do think I have another pair. So I found the shears that I'm always using with Merlot, so I'm just going to with the shears, I got a paper towel, I will get the masking tape, if I can find it, here it is, I'm going to tape the towel and then take a marker and print of it. You can use actual tape. That's all set. I can drop the sharpie. Can drop the sharpie. Now I've got my little thing here. I'm gonna take these shears. Now this would be good if it was a flat piece of metal. This is a curve. So what you're going to do is take your piece of steel. Mine is this rusty one. I know that. Well, either way, it's a piece of steel. So I'm going to... Where did I throw the tape? I'm going to take the tape, tape this tissue on it with a little extra Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. Um, this is just going to be a few photos of the piece and the finished welded-in patch. It's not really finished yet. I've still got to do some of it, make the weld look better. I didn't really video my welding or anything because I don't know how the camera's going to take that. I haven't done it yet, so I'm just going to have to try. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Like, subscribe, post in the comments. Tell me what you want to see. Tell me what you don't want to see. Tell me what you liked about it. Uh, thanks for watching again, guys.